Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. Guys, excuse me because my voice is not so good right now. I have been unwell, but you know what? I'm back and better. And let's say thank God for health because when you're sick and you're just like deep in your bed, under your sheets, it's not funny at all. But I'm happy to be back and I'm so happy to find that Jessica posted another video that I'm really excited to discover because this woman, she is the thing. I love her vibes. I love her energy. She's beautiful. Something about her that I love a lot. So listen, uh, so this video, she's talking about these five types of women will cheat on you. So let me know in the comment section below what type of women you think cheat and do you agree with her or not and make sure you subscribe okay let's go subscribe and then let's go hey how you doing what makes people cheat do they mm, cheat just that's a good question i feel people cheat for different reasons um i would say some cheat because they they're just eternal um um how, how can i explain that people who are never satisfied let me just say things like that people who feel uh, they also want to see if they can still attract females or males because don't get me wrong Girls nowadays they cheat too So I feel when you have someone who wants to be always overly seductive and they want to please 24 uh, 7 in everything that comes or goes and you know those type of people cheat and also I would say um, when it comes to women I would say um, a lady who is not um, treated right ha has a tendency of looking for what she's not finding in her house elsewhere. But is it okay to cheat? I don't think so. I feel before you cheat, you have to um, you have to leave the person and then go on with your business after that. So that's my two cents. So let's see what Jessica has to say. It's because they can. Do they cheat because they're out of love with their partners mm. or what? Now, whatever the reason for cheating may be, I'm going to be telling you in this video the five types of women who will cheat on you. My name is Jessica, and I'm shaking that table. <laughs> You've been warned. She's going to shake the table. Okay, let's see. This intro is neat. I love it. Welcome back. My name is Jessica, and thank you so much for joining my channel. Now, if you like the title and the juice I'm about to give you, mm. please, whatever you do, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, right. as that helps the video, and share this if you find. Yes, please do the same. The video beneficial. So, five types of women who will cheat on you. <laughs> Let's list them right here, right now. Woman number one is the materialistic woman. Mm. Now, such women are quite a lot, actually, in the system. They Yeah. I guess that's what we call the socialites. Well, at least that's what I hear Kenyans call them. Um, the ones who are always looking for sponsors. Um, and does it mean that these ladies actually exchange the materialistic stuff for sex? I call that prostitution. Let's say, let's call a spade a spade and not a big spoon. A spade is a spade. For me, I call that prostitution. When you're materialistic, you probably don't pay those things yourself, but uh, you, you probably date somebody because they're rich enough to offer you those things that they will most definitely cheat on you because they're never satisfied, you know? Because you have a Gucci today, Tomorrow you want a Rolls Royce. Tomorrow you want something different. So you will always look for somebody who's bigger than what you have right now. So you can go up the ladder in that way. So I feel you're right on this one. They barely or hardly mm. work for, you know, mm. the stuff that they want. Right. And have hardly worked for the things that they own. Right. And they have this insatiable appetite to just get the finer things in life. Right. No matter what. And they don't care who they hurt in the process. Mm -hmm. These women are highly driven by material things. Mm -hmm. And all another person has to do is to pretty much flash money before their eyes. Or flash that kind of item they're looking for mm -hmm. before their eyes. Yeah. And 
that's pretty much all it takes for them to cheat. Right. But what I don't understand is why do men entertain such women? Right. Why? I need to know. I know you know that she's with you for the money. Is it that you you don't have self esteem, you know, or you entertain that because she's probably beautiful, you know, and you're like, all need, I just need to, you know, I just need somebody as an escort girl because that's what they call them in the in the West, and I feel it's such a pity to, uh, to to stoop that low because for me that's all there is to it just stooping that low entertaining a woman who's just there for the money and you accept it because i don't think they're blind to that there is more to it i would like to hear why men entertain such women so jessica if you want this one let me know and so they may not necessarily be satisfied with you with what you give Mm -hmm. and especially if you're not in a position to give and so you want to by all means avoid women who tend to come across as materialistic all right such women have very low loyalty Mm. and may end up in another man's bed if you're not able to meet their materialistic needs exactly their loyalty lies with the money okay and not with you as a man (laughs) period okay period the loyalty of lies with your money and probably another person's money, um, you know, when it comes to the, you know, to the degree of how rich you are. So I agree. Don't say you weren't warned. Right. The second type of woman I want to talk about today Mm -hmm. is the woman who just won't stop going on social media apps or dating sites long after you and her have began dating. Oops. Okay, Jessica, you are here to overthrow the tables and you're doing just right now. Okay, right. <clears throat> because this is something that I would like men to get into their heads. Is a woman who likes you, if you met on a social app, on a dating app, um, then the minute a woman, a serious woman, um, uh, I mean, when she finds the right one, okay, to her at that particular point, then she just gets, she just deletes the app. She gets off the app. She does not entertain other people coming up onto her and stuff like that. But if the woman you're dating, from, again, it depends what do you mean by dating? Because I feel people nowadays have like a whole different definition of dating. Dating to me, is let's say I we get to a point where we're talking, I give you my number, then we go on that first date, then from that moment on, when I call you back again after that date, then we're dating. Why? Because the first date, the physical first date, means that I validated you, so I'm accepting your call again. Okay, so I feel it means that I want to know you better. So from that second date. Um, if I, if a woman still goes on the dating sites and she's still meeting people, entertaining people, she will cheat on you because a serious woman will never do that. She will delete the app. She will get off the dating site because she would like to just concentrate on you and get to know you better before, um, you know, before anything else. So if she's still on the dating app and talking to other people, then she will definitely cheat on you. Now, why do I say this? Now, here's my thing. Mm -hmm. If a woman has found you as a partner for life, or maybe someone who they're even sort of prospecting, okay, could this Mm. be the guy? A lot of women who are worth anything will actually stop looking, really stop looking for other partners out there. Period. Okay, period. I'm sorry, but yeah, you're right. And so if you have a girl who, let's say, is still on Tinder, even after she met you on Tinder and you guys hooked up and you've started dating and you you have a serious relationship and she's still maintaining her Tinder okay. account, perhaps you should find out why. Ask her if she's still looking for another man and if you're not man enough for her and insist that she, you know, gets off the app. Right. Now, by no means am I saying that... Um, Every single woman who still has a dating app or or visits dating websites even after they met you are definitely going to cheat. But I'm just mm-hmm. saying that what is the point of still opening yourself up to all sorts of attention if you have found the man that you want to be with? Absolutely. You catch my drift. Right. So the propensity for a woman to cheat 
in my opinion, is higher just because if she fails to remove herself or make her DM too accessible to strangers, mm-hmm. then you should know that she's still open, she's still looking, and right. you might not be the one. You she might right. you might have placed her on a pedestal that's a little too high for her at the moment. Right. So yeah, I mean I'm not saying go snooping on her phone, but you definitely need to open that conversation and right. see where her mind is at when it comes to things like that. Dating right. apps, um, people sliding into her DM, what does she say to them? Mm-hmm. What does she do? Does she encourage them? Right. That kind of thing. Right. When a woman is really serious with you, she doesn't take other people um, seriously and, for that matter, does not engage mm-hmm. um, a lot of these people who slide into her DMs or um, engage her on dating apps. In fact, I know people who straight out just delete it, stop using it right. because they found the man that they love. Absolutely. I agree with you. I'm sorry. Ty- I agree with you, Jennifer, um, Jessica, 100%. And I feel those are discussions that um, a couple should have from scratch. Is when you begin, you know, when you decide to be serious about your relationship, then I feel it's about time for you to have those discussions like, listen, um, I don't want you to talk to your exes anymore. If that's how you feel, you know, um, I don't want you to do this and that. Just safe things. Um, just make sure you, you're going up from ground zero and then you can you can grow a healthy relationship after that. Because I feel people are so lovey-dovey in the beginning, which is okay. But on the other hand, don't forget, if you decide to be serious with somebody, you need to let them know your expectations. They will give you your expectations. Then you can negotiate some points if they're very important to you. And then you get to a common ground. And then that's where the, the relationship actually begins. Do not wait six months into the relationship to start saying, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. Do it from the word go. And then you will save yourself from a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble. So I agree with point number two. Type three. Now she's the type of woman that I call an unapologetic flirt. Now listen, I know there are... (laughs) Yeah, but you know, when you're beautiful, you want to, you know, you want to flirt a little bit. But, um, yeah, I understand. I think, honestly, when you're dating somebody, there's no room for that. You cannot go around flirting with every person that comes your way. You know, you can't do that. It's disrespe- disrespectful uh, to your partner. And also, you need to respect yourself enough, you know, not to do such a thing, especially when you're dating. When you're single, why not? Because you're... You know, you're free, you're a free bird and you don't have, um, your loyalty lies with nobody. But when you go flirting around with anybody, any man, then you're not being um, loyal to your your partner. And it's not, um, it's not a, a good thing for the relationship in the long run. You can lose the man or the woman of your dreams if you continue flirting with other people. And then it creates more issues like, um you know, uh, with the trust issues. And when I'm telling you when the trust is broken, it's impossible to take it back to where it was. A lot of women out there who, in fact, it's not just even a woman thing. There are people out there who just love the attention they right. get when they flirt with people, right? right? It can be playful. Mm-hmm. But my thing is, where do you draw the line? Like, at what point does it stop being playful? Right. And do they start to actually engage other people? Mm-hmm. Um, maybe when you were single. Right. You know, maybe when she was single, mm-hmm. she was flirting. Okay, because she's trying to find her a man, right? right? But now that you're in her life, what's her excuse for flirting with other people? Right. And how disrespectful right. can it be if she's flirting right in front of you? Right. You know, you go out for an event, and there she is you know, rubbing guys' cheeks and doing all sorts of things to draw attention to herself. Mm -hmm. When a woman is taken, she cuts down or totally eliminates flirting from her life. Not to say that um, every occasional flirting once in a while um, is still a dangerous sign. It, It could be completely harmless. But all I'm saying is, if she has found you, and she thinks that you are the guy of her dreams, she's not going to be flirting with every Tom, no. Dick, and Harry. Right. Right? 
disrespectful. Right? It's really disrespectful, and it mm-hmm. doesn't say, it doesn't send the right message to no. um, the people in your circles who no. are observing her. All no. right. So imagine you go for a party with all. Yeah, because it opens the doors. It shows that the door is not locked. You know, just open, and some of them will play around with you. And and think about it. Think about it this way. What if the person you're flirting with um, actually starts to like you? Mind you, you're dating somebody and it's probably even your husband's friends or, you know, and you may ha- hurt somebody's feelings because you're playing with them by flat flirting with them. And I feel it's not a good way because you're messing with somebody else's feelings because you know this will not go beyond the flirting. And what if it does? You're going to break your partner's heart and it's not the the way to go about it and let's just say it's disrespectful period if you're single go ahead if you're not lock the door stop all your other friends and their girlfriends Mm -hmm. and then it's only your girlfriend flirting with all the other guys in the room you know what does it say to you how does it make you feel you're insecure. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of time right. that if sister doesn't put a stop to it, some guy is actually going to lead her on, and then the worst could possibly happen. Yeah. So be careful of the unapologetic flirt. Mm-hmm. Type of woman number four. The woman who never shows you off. Yeah, she hides you. <laughs> right. Which is, I'm telling you, if your woman does not show you off, Run, baby, run. Run, baby, run. And I feel uh, this is a very important point. You know, when a woman loves you, she will show you off. And I feel this is a woman's thing because men don't really care. They know you're the woman. He doesn't have to show you off like, okay, but more and more men are doing it now. But women, we want to show our men off like he's mine. He's mine. Okay. So I feel, yeah, this this is a very strong point because if your woman hides you, doesn't introduce you to her friends, to her family, uh, to her, you know, immediate circle, there is a problem. That means um, that um, something is wrong somewhere, and it means probably she's in, she she probably has already introduced somebody who is more important to her than you are. So I feel this is a very strong, strong point. I agree. (laughs) So you met this amazing woman, you've kicked it off. Uh Everything seems to be going well, Mm -hmm. but you've still not met the very important people in her life, her best friend or friends, her family. You don't know anyone. No. You barely even know where she works. She's very secretive, right. will not give you information, will say that you are um, prying a bit too much when you ask questions. I mean, <clears throat> see, if a woman really cares about you, if a woman really wants to be with you, she wants everybody in her circle to know that this is my man. Right. <clears throat> and not to say, we're not saying here that you meet him today, then tomorrow you need to show him off to the world. No. We're talking about weeks into the dating, weeks into the relationship. You will, of course, start meeting her friends because probably you as a man, you've already introduced her to your friends first without even talking about family. But if she she hasn't done that, then there is a problem somewhere. It means that she probably doesn't think you're the one and she's um, she's not that into you. Uh, to introduce you to her friends, you know, so not immediately, but as time goes on, these are things that you, these are like the red signs, like, ooh, something is not right, and maybe open that discussion, just get to know why, why haven't I met your best friend, why haven't I met your friends, you know, why, why don't I know where you work, can I come, just ask a simple question, can I come and pick you up after work and at your workplace, so we can go you know, because some women out here are creating or I would say inventing lies, just like a fake life. And so you need to be very careful out there because this is real. This is happening to so many young men out here, um, you know, with all these women who are just after the money and that's all, you know, so be careful. So if you don't find yourself in a situation where this woman is happy and willing to show you off, 
<laughs> you're in trouble. You're in deep trouble. Right. And um, no amount yeah. of prayers are going to get you out of that one. Right. Chances are there are other people in the running possibly other people she's dating mm -hmm. and for that matter she might be cheating on you and your relationship may not mean much yeah. so i think whatever you do no matter what you do if within the first few weeks months this woman that you started dating is not eager to show you let you meet anybody else in her circle chances are you're just a booty call or a side cock and the main guy is actually there oh yeah she's <laughs> what did i say exactly exactly my thoughts okay so yeah just listen because this is really the truth and this is coming from a woman um and i myself know and i think um you should listen just listen okay don't go have your heart broken over such women because you're worth more than just someone who's just there to play with your emotions Being on you with some other person right and finally yeah. A woman who lacks attention. Oof. This is the dangerous type. Women who lack attention. And don't get this twisted. This is nothing to do about you, the, the, the wonderful man you are, the person you are, your ethics, your principles, however you want to call it. This has nothing to do with you, but this has everything to do with them. Someone who lacks attention, most of the time someone who lacked attention when they were little from the parents, from their surroundings, from their peers and stuff like that. So it comes way back. And this is a mistake that most women make and also men in relationship. And we're talking about women today uh, is when you go into a relationship expecting your man uh, to fill up the gap, so that one thing that is missing in your life. And so you just just realize that he's probably not giving it to you the way you would like him to give it to you, you know. Um, and you're like, oh, you used to do, you used to take me to the restaurant when we first met. You used to take me, buy me flowers. You used to do this and that. But you realize he cannot do that every day. How about you doing those things to him once in a while? Go buy him perfume, take him out for dinner and stuff like that. So a woman who lacks attention, who does not... Um, lay back and like okay wait a minute um what's wrong and someone who's not ready to accept the truth that it's their problem that type run <laughs> listen run 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 because they will seek attention from anybody even from a chicken they will just seek attention from anybody and anything um and that's a dangerous spot and this is the type of girl that um, will make you have a toxic relationship. And this is a very serious uh, narcissistic type um, of, um, of behavior, actually. So when you know a woman who lacks attention or the woman you're with lacks attention is always complaining that you're not looking at her, that you're not doing this for her, that you're working too much, that this and that and that, and it's this on a daily basis, run okay because they will most definitely go out there and look for the attention they're seeking and they're never satisfied okay so this is a dangerous trait and point number five jessica you're turning tables for sure this is a nice one i have to go there now there are a lot of women yeah. who actually like attention they love attention right. they crave attention right. from their significant others or from their partners uh -huh. which is okay but when it's excessive that's where it becomes dangerous if you're one of those guys who feel like oh you know i finally landed this girl and so i don't need to work hard to keep her anymore i'm sorry but you're really mistaken right because women need constant reassurance they need words of affirmation mm -hmm. and indeed you need to know the kind of love language that your partner mm -hmm. has so you can give it to her straight all right if she's someone who seeks attention from you and she's even gone as much as articulate it for you to understand that attention is like number one on her list as fickle or unimportant as it may sound to you make sure that on your list of things you want to do things you want to say to her, things mm -hmm. you guys want to do together, attention is top priority.
okay? When women say they like attention or where you find a woman who loves attention, give it to her, okay? I'm not saying um, drop everything that you're doing just to give her attention, attention. I'm saying if that's what she wants, give it to her. Don't overdo it, though, because that could also, like, that's the thing that's the thing and that's why i i'm a strong believer that when you get into a relationship make sure you're whole make sure tomorrow you break up you will be fine you will cry okay which is okay because you'll be heartbroken but make sure when you go into a relationship you are whole as a person and when you meet your boyfriend your girlfriend they're just cherry on top cherry on top of the cake cherry on top of your life so I feel somebody who really seeks that type of attention, like the every minute attention, they have a problem. And I feel that's where I think it's all about a balance to have. Of course, when you start dating somebody, don't show them, take them to the restaurant five times a day, a week. And then out of the blue, out of the sudden, no more restaurants. Why? I feel, why don't you just take them to the restaurant like on the weekend and make it a habit? You know, every weekend you're taking them out and diversifying and just take them out to a romantic picnic or go to the movies. And yeah, just those small intentions, but not somebody who, because we all need our space. You know, we need to, our space is human beings so we can build ourselves first because when you're not okay, then everybody around you will not be your case. But when you have that overly um, person who's who's an attention seeker to that point, whatever you do, they will most definitely cheat on you because it's never enough. It's it's a need, you know. They're addicted to the attention. Be a little creepy. You need to find like a really nice balance to be able yeah. to do that. So those are the five types of women top of mind who will cheat on you right. if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. Now, let me issue this disclaimer that this does not necessarily um, represent all women on earth, <laughs> no. um, but might you might find a good chunk of them that these would apply to. So just be wise, open your eyes, observe a little more, listen a little deeper, and um, you know, just be on the lookout so you don't get your heart broken. Okay, right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, <clears throat> smash the like button and share it with a friend for me. Okay, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Wow, that was a, a, an interesting piece. And thank you so much, Jessica, for sharing. I think I agreed on this one on the four points. The last one we didn't really have the same way of looking at it, but it all comes to. Um, it's a dangerous type, the person who just overly seeks attention because they're never satisfied. So, guys, same here on this channel. If you love this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And until next time, let me know in the comment section below which other types of women will most definitely cheat on their men. So let's meet in the chat below and until next time, bye.